There are a couple of videos about the carnivore diet on YouTube, with big personas standing behind it such as Jordan Peterson. Today I want to explain to you how healthy the carnivore diet really is, not with bull anecdotes but with numbers black on white. We'll take a look at the antioxidant content of various meats and at the same time compare it with plant foods. Here's the shocking truth that we found. How healthy a diet is usually gets determined by what it contains and what it doesn't contain. You obviously don't want foods that are poisonous or sprinkled with bad bacteria, but you want foods with a high antioxidant content. Antioxidants help us reduce damage that we get by creating energy in the mitochondria and due to other factors of stress like lack of sleep, injury, radiation and so forth. In fact, aging can be considered side effects of oxidative stress in the body. So oxidative stress matters and it's in our best interest to reduce it as much as we possibly can. At this moment of time we cannot identify 100% how healthy a certain food is because we just know the total amount of antioxidants in a food. But we don't know other factors like how much of these antioxidants can be absorbed. So we know the potential of a food but not the actual effects. Nonetheless we have to understand that the actual amount of antioxidants is a good indicator of how healthy a food is. If you compare two foods and there's a hundredfold difference of antioxidant units, even if everything gets absorbed in the food with the lower content, it will very likely be inferior. To make numbers clear, scientists have found out that we need 8 to 11 millimol of antioxidants per day, depending on how much calories we eat. If you take a look at the antioxidant content of more than 3100 things that we put into our mouth, there's a clear trend. Certain plant-based food groups have on average up to 33 times more antioxidants than animal foods. If you take a look at Jordan Peterson's diet and calculate an estimated calorie need of about 2700 calories, for that amount you need to eat about 1.6 kilograms of let's say moustique, he wrecks about half a millimol of antioxidants per day. Which is still 7.5 units on the recommended daily intake of 8 millimol per day. And the antioxidant RDA is not impossible to reach, far away from it. One hundred gram of blueberries from Poland are nearly enough. If we eat one serving of blueberries, we literally eat healthier than a carnivore guy has done in a week. Unless they've used healthy spices and coffee or other plant compounds containing beverages. A carnivore diet doesn't provide enough antioxidants to be healthy, far away from it. Next to not containing enough good stuff which is one part of health, they also contain a lot of bad stuff. Like endotoxins, advanced glycation end products, cholesterol, saturated fat and trans fat. While we might conclude that our entire knowledge about nutrition is flawed and put all the genius medicine minds of the past in the shadow, the more likely reason might just be that the carnivore diet is bullshit. If you like this video and want to know more about fitness, nutrition, mindset and health and how these things can help you get the most out of your life, subscribe to this channel.